Okay, now we're gonna go through and we're gonna work some example problems doing permutations. And it says to use the formula. Again, I'm not really gonna use the formula. We're just gonna use our handy little shortcuts here in our calculator. So the first one is six permutation three. So we're just going to put that in our calculator. Six, math, go to NPR, three, and we get 120. Now we're gonna do the same thing with one. So there's 10. And you can see this goes quite quickly. Once we figure out how to use the calculator, it is to our advantage to use it. So now we have a real problem to work through. A Sunday shop sells yogurt sundaes with two layers, four layers, or five layers of yogurt. The shop carries 65 flares, flavors in all. How many different four layer sundaes could you create without repeating flavors? So in a permutation, it has no repeating. So we have 65 and it's a permutation. So um, we're gonna do the P and then we have four different options. So, or four that we're choosing rather. So we just stick this in our calculator. And there are a lot of options. Let's put our commas in there. There's 16,248,960 different options. So B says, which type of Sunday would give you the greatest number of choices if you do not repeat flavors? So let's solve them. So our two layer, um, Sunday, we would just stick it in our calculator like so. And we have 4,160 options. Our four layer Sunday, well, we just solved that one. We have 16,248,960 options. And our five layer Sunday, which I think is kind of the obvious choice here. Um, but let's just go ahead and figure out how many options that gives us. Let's see, nine, nine, one, one, eight, six, five, six, zero. Put our commas in there. Yes, obviously a five layer option Sunday would give us the most options. 991,186,560 different options. And then now on the back, a briefcase lock has three dials, each with the digits zero through nine. The three digit code that unlocks the briefcase has no digits repeating. If you tried one code every five seconds, what is the greatest amount of time it could take you to open the briefcase? So we're gonna have to figure out how many different permutations there are. And I know um, we learn about combination locks. It's actually not a combination, it's actually a permutation. So just be careful when you think of combination. Okay, so um, let's find out how many there are. So we have 10 different options and we're gonna have three of them. So 10, and then we put the NPR in, and three. So there's 720 different permutations, and we're trying one every five seconds. So times five, that's, uh, so it would be 3,600 seconds. If we divide that by 60, that gives us 60 minutes. So, or, it would take us an hour to figure out what the permutation is. Suppose the briefcase has 10 dials, each with the digits zero through nine. How many different 10 digit codes are possible with no repeated digits? So this would be the same thing. The difference is the, the number of um, choices that I'm making is 10. So, we would put this in our calculator, 10 NPR, 10, and that gives us a lot more permutations. It gives me 3,628,800 total.